surgery next week. He said, doesn't matter. I've got radiation in me, you know. He said, you just need to get back up there. You got to get back up there. And so he really pressured me to get back up there. So the next week I had open heart surgery and I had my arm in a sling and uh, I had a pacemaker put in. And uh, so Brad Chad Porter was managing the 51st Street Speakeasy. And so I went in with a set of jumper cables and I handed one in to him and I clipped the other one onto the mic stand. I said, this is just in case. <laughs> so, uh, thanks. In uh, about 2010 or 2012 or 2013, they, they decided to roast Stan over there and they had this big roast and everyone was up and they were giving very sentimental messages about him and everything and Leah Kajian got up there and she said, oh, everybody's feeling so sorry for this man and saying how frail he is and how elderly he is. He's not elderly. The man's 29 years old. He's got a raging crack addiction. <laughs> Stan liked that one. <laughs> and, uh, you were talking about the uh, Brunch Davidians, and I think it was Stan, I don't know, it could have been me, that, <laughs> that shared the news when the Brunch Davidians were attacked down there in Waco. Uh, they actually found David Koresh's body. He was wearing charcoal pants and a smoking jacket. <laughs> And uh, it was afterwards we learned how they picked up all those young girls down there. They used a dust buster. It was easier. <laughs> My name's Carrie Grant. I love Stan. I love you. Oh, I love you, Sylvan, and the whole family. Carrie Grant, everybody. Uh, we actually have one more performer. Uh, he was asked to be, be here by the family. Uh, give it up for the very funny Spawn. I want to say like a couple of things. First of all, man, um, I love all y'all. Even the people that I don't know. But the thing that sucks about tonight is, Sam's a great man. The thing that sucks is it takes somebody great to die for y'all all to come together. This is some shit that should be happening on a regular day. It shouldn't take someone to lose somebody great for us all just kick it and have fun. Now to the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Stan, I love Stan. I, I've only done comedy for like, I want to say like about 70 years. Stan was one of the first, first people I met with Dr. K, uh, with uh, Sam Scoble. Like one of the first few people that I met that was actually doing comedy. The thing with Stan was like, I guess he just had like a stroke after like I met him. So, like, I see him with the mic in his hand, and then he, like, shook my head with the other hand. So, I was like, is this guy, like, a magician? Is he going to, like, come off? Oh, what, what's going on? <laughs> the thing about it, though, is after that, we did a podcast. It was me, Lindy Van Horn, and Nathan Jordan. We did a podcast. And somebody told me, and I, I was doing stereotypical shit. Somebody told me that he was a Jew with a lot of money. He don't have to do stand-up. He had a lot of money. So, we did a podcast, and I was like, who's going to ask him? And I said, I'll ask him. <laughs> and we were like live, and like, hey, I heard you had a lot of money. And the Jew head, the good head, covered the mic. And said, we don't talk about stuff like that. <laughs> so I'm like, so you can use that one. <laughs> he knew, though. I love the dude. He had great energy. Um, it's not, not too much you can say that anybody else hasn't said. He was a great dude. Um, I feel responsible for his death a little bit. Because I actually texted him on Facebook like a couple days before he died. And um, I made a joke to say that he has some memorabilia, I think from the Thunder or something like that. And I said, those aren't your real kids. I'm your real son. Let me keep the memorabilia. I am black and Jew. We are bluish. I got like three likes, but they went for the family. I'm just happy to be here. 
I love them, man. Let me see. I, this is like shorthand. Um, oh, uh, Stan, um, I ended with this, man, because like, I'm at the end of this. Stan uh, was like known, like this has been called, he was known for like going over time on his time. Like dude says, like the pip daddy going there. He just knew it was his time, right? I don't want to say a stand uh, rest in peace. I know that right now you're with the great George Carlin, Rich Pryor, and um, the time is endless. You can do as much time as you want with the greats. Rest in peace. Keep it going for Spawn, everybody. We kind of come to the end of our show. I kind of want to just end it with the story. Uh, I've been doing comedy for 10 years, and uh, when I started, People weren't that nice to me, I guess. Uh, there was a guy named, I'm gonna say, Joel Black and Jason Decker. And uh, <laughs> I was doing a show once, and I wasn't getting along with those guys. He's like, you know, Stan said, you know, they call those guys Black and Decker, right? <laughs> and I said, uh, why do they call them that? And he said, oh, because they're tools. <laughs> it's the best thing he ever gave. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. Yeah, thanks for everything. Good night.